All right. All right, let's begin. With King Kangax slain, Darius becomes the new king of Styxia. True to his word, he promises to help Jaka dethrone Mornum. After a month of organizing, a war council is held in Kadim. My friends, the day has arrived. Styxia's men are ready for war. All of them alive, as we agreed. And what of the rest of you? Have you finished your preparations? It took a lot of effort, but I've also mobilized an army. It is not a large force, but it will draw Mortimer's gaze. On my command, they will march across the Emperor Mountains. After that, they will attack from the east, causing chaos. I gave them strict orders not to harm and on civilians. My Harriers and what is left of Clan Scotty are also mobilized. Some Berserkers from Half Dan's clan also offered to join us. They will sail south, attacking Anderon's coastal supply line lines. Yeah, we do. Or well, we don't. Have, we don't know about Darkholm and what's going on over there, though. That's the last one. My Harriers will ensure that no villages are put to the torch. And what about the Icebreakers? Are they still loyal to their Jarl? Don't you worry, my people are ready to go to war. They were already going to do that under Tyranar. After they conclude a battle in the Ring of Honor, we sail. By killing their own guys. <laughs> Here's my plan for how we can breach Anderon's defenses. To start off, our allies will raid Anderon's north and east sides. This will sow confusion and give us a tactical advantage. Then the Styxian army will march towards the Infernal Pass. What's that assassin doing over there? Hope you're not planning to attack the Infernal Pass. It's impenetrable. A dozen wars have proven this to be true. Not even a hundred thousand men could sunder the flame walls. Yeah, because there's like 25 guys here. My late father discovered the Flame Guard wall has a flaw. I'll show it to you once we arrive at the border. Until then, here are some war funds from the Royal Treasury. If you speak to Ahmed, he will procure you some rare goods. I stole all this crap off the bodies of my dead enemies. You wouldn't believe all the shiny stuff in their pockets. Treasure's infinite. The great Meta's greed knows no limit. If you wish to obtain my wares, you must pay me with ample coin. Speak to Darius when you're ready to go to war. You can also talk to Ahmed to purchase rare goods. Yeah, I have to I have to take some crap out and I have to get rid of it. Flamestagger, it's going alright. Oh wait, no. Crap. Hey there, buddy. You want deals? The skeleton's got the goods. 
Give me your gold or else. Hey, it's uh, Undertale music. I mean, we don't really need them. Quite busy, so we never got to speak much. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Dari seems to like you, so don't you worry about it. Have you two known each other for long? Oh yeah, since we were both kids, we met in one of Stixia's bazaars. I was just a street rat then, stealing from the merchants to survive. How come a street rat ended up serving the king of Stixia? Dari would often sneak out of the palace to wander the streets in disguise. He said he enjoyed watching the people without all the royal mumbo jumbo. He saw me steal a piece of fruit, but he didn't report me to the guard. That he offered we steal more stuff together, just the two of us. He was the Prince of Stixie at the time, why would he need to steal anything? He enjoyed the rush, said it was more fun than anything he did back at the palace. I stole to survive, but Dari did it for sport. He liked the change, or the challenge and excitement. Of course, he didn't tell me who he really was until much later. Shocked me, it did. Darius is an odd fellow. The more I hear about him, the more confused I get. He's a good man, he is. Nothing like his foul paw. He's a lot more similar. Similar to what? To my own pa. I miss him. Ah, so you like him because he reminds you of your dad. I mean, that's that's pretty normal, actually. From what I've seen, not to make assumptions, but a lot of people are either attracted to people who are exactly like their parents, or the opposite of their parents. But, you know, I'm generalizing here. Or, they're attracted to the parent who represents the opposite gender or the gender they're attracted to, either the exact same person or the opposite person. But I don't know. But obviously it's not the case all the time. Your father perished in the tomb, right? I remember Darius talking about it. He did. I asked Darius to look for any clues, but he, sa he said you guys found nothing. Actually, Capri, I just realized something. We found this ring down in the tomb. Would you happen to recognize it? What? Well, goodness gracious, that's my pa's wedding ring. Damn, I feel bad about not bringing this to you at once. I had a lot on my mind when I was down in that blasted tomb. I was focused on not dying. That's okay, I'm just happy you found it. This ring holds a lot of value to me. Is your mother still alive? She might appreciate it. Nay, she died. She sadly died to the plague, like so many of our people. The same plague the necromancers unleashed upon Andron? I had no idea it affected Styxia, too. Yeah, it was a double-edged sword. It killed thousands of Styxians. Damn, Necros. My father died to that plague. I'm so sorry you lost a parent to it as well. It's okay, I've accepted what happened. Oh, I like how he calls them Necros. It's just another endearing racist term. I've accepted what happened, and at least now I have a keepsake. Something to remember both by Pa and Mum by. That actually helps a lot. Thank you, Jock. I appreciate it. I'm just glad I could bring you some closure. The armor I wear belonged to my father. I wear it in his memory. It's how I honor him. Maybe your ring will help you do the same. Yeah, I know, right? Like, he has, he has, like, um, character development, but he still stays true to his racism, which, even though racism isn't great, it helps stabilize the character a little bit for me. That's very sweet. All of Capri's stats increased by one, and she learned a new skill. Okay. What did she get? So, like, her stats are pretty good. Like, it's kind of crazy how good she is. What skill did she get? Critical and critical avoid plus 10 to all out. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's good. So, like, she boosts damage and reduces damage received, and she increases crit now. And she basically capped everything. Like, ugh, goddammit, Crixus, why do you suck? Pisses me off, man. What's up, boss? You really don't have to call me that, Tendaris. She does. 
You were the leader of our group, and that makes you the boss. Honestly, I'm not sure I am. I just filled Bob's shoes. The former boss died, so you stepped up. Nothing wrong with that. Bob really liked you, you know, after our meeting in the Emperor Mountain. The whole journey back from Silvermist, he talked about what a good king you'd be. He was looking forward to building a good relationship between Andron and Tame. I very much hope to realize his dream one day. That is not going to happen as long as Mortimer sits on the throne. He wanted your brother to become the king. He will never forgive you. I don't care about his forgiveness. He instigated a civil war on Tame. He forced me to kill my own people, as well as my very own blood. The Rodan was a terrible brother, but maybe things would be different. I'm going to look Mortimer into his eyes before you impale him. I want him to know the suffering he caused my country. Damn, and I thought I hated the guy. I don't hate him, I pity him, he's a wretched man. Schemers and plotters are the worst kind of people. The world would be better off without them. I'll toast to that. Imagine a world without backstabbing and betrayals. It won't ever happen, but one can dream, right? At some point, dreams are the only things we have left. You all right there, Helga? Take you a bit of a nap? Mm, go away. Full of sunshine and joy, as usual. Go away, leave me alone. Helga, you don't look so good right now. Are you coming down with something? It's none of your concern. This has something to do with what you did to Ilanda, doesn't it? Helga, speak truly, please. How long do you have left? A few months at most, maybe less. A few months? That can't be. How much did you give her? Ilanda's life force is leaking out. She's like a bucket with holes. You can fill it up with water, but eventually it will all empty out. We are both running out of time. I cannot keep her alive forever. Wait, are you telling me you're actively feeding her your own life force? It's called a soul link, a secret technique that Skilla taught me when I was a child. I was to use it in case she ever perished, giving my life to her. That was my task. The process binds two people together, and they actively sustain one another. Christ, really? You didn't think that was kind of a red flag? That your grandmother taught you a skill to steal your life force? Jesus. As long as one lives, the other cannot die. At least not while they are close together. Helga, you only came with us because of Ilana, didn't you? I could not force her to stay behind in Hornheim, so I had to follow along. I'm so sorry, that's awful. Why didn't you say anything? Shut up, I hate it when people pity me. I don't need your useless sympathy. I made a choice and now I, and now I have to live with the consequences, that's all. Don't patronize me by giving me this useless lecture. What's done is done. Can the soul link be reversed? Not without killing Ilanda. So you're the only thing keeping her alive. We have to try and find a solution to restore her. Maybe Darius knows. There is no solution. Whatever the ritual did, we cannot fix it. Maybe my grandmother knew, but she's long dead now. She never kept any journals or notes. Trust me, I searched. All we can do now is make use of the little time we have left. Maybe bringing this, to Mor bringing this Mortimer to justice is going to be worth it. Oh, yeah. Why does she have three... Oh, I guess the Morganus amulet boosts your magic by three or some shit? I don't know. Yep. Estelle, what are you holding there? This is a Styxian wand. It has magic properties. Looks like a regular tobacco pipe. That's what they would have you believe. Don't listen to the lies of commoners. As an expert in Styxian culture, I know the true meaning behind this magic item. I bought it from a merchant, and after paying him a little extra, he told me. He told you what? That this unique wand that requires a special incantation to work, you see. Yeah, in the next playthrough, I'm probably going to use her. Maybe. Because, like, what I'm going to try to do with the maddening one is I'm going to pick units, in some cases, that I didn't use in this one. Like, obviously, I think I'm going to have to use Runa. Um, either way, like in both cases I'm using Runa, and I'm going to be using a lot of people who can use Regalias. But there's a couple of spots. No, Elmer's never being used. He can F off, man. I got no time for that guy. I, it's too late anyway. You put it in your mouth and you inhale. The magic powder will infuse your body. And you become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. So you smoke the pipe? Such a simple mind can never grasp the truth behind this legendary artifact. Wait, Estelle, something smells funny. Are you sure that's tobacco? Or tobacco? Hey, were you not listening? It's not a pipe, it's a wand. I will now demonstrate how to use it properly. Watch. Wait, Estelle, don't inhale. I'm pretty sure that's... Estelle, are you alright? I finally see the truth of the universe. Whatever you do, don't take another. Shit. Man, Stixie's magic sure is potent. I've never felt this relaxed in my life. 
Ooh. I'm just gonna let her sleep on the floor. And it's probably fine. You got some damage. This world is so hateful. Strange way to start a conversation. Is something on your mind, Amelia? It isn't fair. Why do humans persecute my little terrors? And why do we call them that anyway? I call them cuties. The face-eating, skin-tearing, monstrous-looking creatures? You think we should call them cuties? That's right. I have searched the so I've researched the so-called terrors for years. They aren't all monstrous undead. They're cute spiders and wolves. Dire wolves are the size of a horse. Exactly. They're the perfect size to ride on, and they're fluffy. I once saw a direwolf pick up a man and slam him into the ground. Broke every one of his bones. The poor guy screamed until he died. It was like watching a bear play stick ball with a toddler's body. Did you know terrors don't only consist of the undead? Those ignorant lightbringers lump many species together. Undead, mutant animals, even some lesser demons to boot. And mutated animals are much smarter than regular ones. So? So, if you listen to what I've been saying, they have feelings. It isn't okay to beat them to death like dumb rats. We should try to come to an understanding with them. I just want to spread love for the cuties worldwide. I'll acknowledge, many terrors are improperly classified. I used to be a scholar myself. My mother didn't want me to become a mercenary for hire. There should be separate names for all the terror subspecies. But, in the end, they all do attack human settlements. They'll never convince people to set aside their prejudice. You're wrong. I'll make it my life's mission, if that's what it takes. I like how he's blatantly racist, and yet he's a scholar. Like, what? A, a dude of, like, study and history just is racist against everybody. But you know what? It, it's fine. It's kind of funny, actually. You know, I, and I do admire how equally racist he is to everybody who isn't a human. I will bring about the unification of man and beast before I die. I mean, don't centaurs already exist? You've kind of already done what you... Like, it's already done. Good luck with that. I admire your conviction. Even if I think they're a bit misguided. You'll see. Someday everyone will. Doc, I must thank you for helping me find the tomb of Horus. No problem. Did you find what you were looking for down there? Yes, I did. I uncovered the lost regalia of my house, the ancient Void Flare Tome. It's a remarkable tome, bringing, brimming with dark magic. I can feel the void inside it. I shouldn't feel satisfied, yet I cannot stop thinking about the tomb before. I wish I could have remained there to study the many scriptures in its walls. I feel like so much lost knowledge could have been unearthed down there. Yeah, how is it so heavy? It's like 300 pounds. Alas, its secrets are now buried forever. You gotta leave some mysteries unresolved, unsolved, otherwise you'd be bored out of your mind. Imagine a world without mystery or wonder. Won't you be sad if you discover it all? Oh dear heavens no, that sounds delightful. I can finally rest and enjoy some hobbies. I thought that was your hobby. We nobles of House Darkholm have an insatiable hunger for knowledge. It's in our very blood to seek it out. It almost borders on obsession. If we become curious about a subject, we must delve deeply into it. Failure to do so will drive us to madness, like what happened to Nemesis. That was the wraith we encountered in the tomb? What happened to him? He was attempting to unlock the truth of the regalia, their hidden purpose. He claimed they were more than just well-crafted weapons of the past. He became so fixated on them that he traveled the world looking for clues. He became increasingly unhinged. Sadly, there are many such cases. I always thought that House Darkholm was tasked by the Lightbringers to record history. You're telling me you're doing it as a result of having an obsessive compulsion? It is our greatest gift and our worst curse. The quest for knowledge is exhilarating. There is nothing quite like it in this world. I shall seek it for as long as I breathe. However, sometimes I wish I could stop being so curious about everything. I wish I could listen to a beautiful poem without wanting to decipher its meaning. I wish I could look up the st to the stars and not wonder how they came to exist. Sounds like a rough mindset to have. I'm glad I do not suffer from that. But now that you're done with your quest, what will you do? Go back home? I have decided to stay with your company and partake in the war. This might be one of the most brutal conflicts in history. How could I possibly miss it? What will you do if your family gets involved? We are invading their country after all. Don't worry, that will never happen. House Darkholm seldom picks sides. As long as you do not lay siege to Castle Darkholm, they won't bother. My family is too busy reading tomes. Castle Darkholm resides in Western Andron. We have no true need to take it. And there is nothing to worry about. I look forward to the war to come. 
no doubt it will be quite fascinating. There's nothing fascinating about war. There's only death and suffering. War is an aspect of life, and thus something to be experienced. To live is to suffer. There are no ways around that fact. I shall enjoy this war like I would enjoy a tragic play. I used to think Angelus was a strange guy. Yeah, you're kind of weird, bud. But they're all weird, so... It's interesting that they actually have to. They're, they are driven to madness. Of that stuff. What's up, Bruno? Wouldn't that make her obsessed? I guess she's obsessed with finding her dad. Hello, Runa. Why are you hiding behind that wall? Oh, hello, Mr. Jocka. I was, I'm just listening. It is called eavesdropping. What are you spying on? Is it Bart? I think he is my daddy. Really? And how do you know that? I spoke to him, and he told me he spent time in my village. You're also both the only blue-haired people. Dark Home is the only blue-haired people. He remembers my mother, and they were close. The timeline also matches, and he's a great sage. It has to be true, right? Yes, it's like the most obvious thing ever. Wasn't that good news, Bruno? Why would that make you stand here eavesdropping? Go over there and get to know your father. I'm sure I'll be happy to talk to you. I tried, but he was so incredibly strange. He kept calling me his test subject. I need to know if he talks this way to the other people around him. I always thought the Dark Homes were an odd bunch. I'm glad I'm not related to them. Why did my daddy have to be such a weirdo? I was so looking forward to meeting him. I envisioned he would be kind and wise. Instead, he is... I don't even know what. Bruno, please take a moment to listen to how you sound right now. You've been searching for your father ever since you joined our company. You've created this perfect image of him inside your head. Of course reality is not going to live up to those impossible standards. I know that. It's just its just I hoped he would at least be a little more normal. Maybe he's just strange on the surface. Try to get to know him a little more. Maybe he'll open up to you eventually. You really think so? Well, it's impossible to say, but neither of us know Barg that well. Be a little patient and try to give it some time. Maybe it'll work out. Thank you, Mr. Jock. I'll try and do that. I hope I'm not setting her up to be disappointed, though I probably am. At least she's, she has a dad now. I'd give anything to have my old man back. I still gotta work on getting Dark up to S so that she can equip Void Flare. Though her con is so bad. Like, she'll lose 13 speed if she uses it. Yeah, I'd have to bump her con up a lot. I could give her the cursed boots twice, and then give her two boots to modify it to give her, like, five con. But then, like, it would waste them, because, like, she's already maxed most of her stats. So, like, there's not really a reason to do it. No, no, these moves won't do. I need to practice my shimmy. Oh, damn. Can I help you, love? Sorry for staring. I was lost in your moves. I've never seen anyone dance like that. But all right. I'm used to men's prying eyes. It comes with a profession. How long have you been dancing? Since I was seven years old. Seven? That's far too young to be dancing like that. All dancers in Stixie are handpicked as children and trained from an early age. Some are more fortunate than others. Myself, I was raised in a pleasure dome. I don't like that. Man, that's just wrong. It was not an easy life, but I've come far since those days. Child rape. Yay. As a royal dancer, I am much better taken care of. To harm a lady of the court is a crime punishable by death. What's even worse is that, like, imagine if she had to pleasure the Kangax in, in his weird, like, Skeletor face body. Mm, no, thank you. It's even worse. I have to endure some rude stares and remarks. However, no man would dare to touch me. It's forbidden. Now they would. This has been enshrined into Styxian law since the start. That is not the case for all girls, just those lucky enough to make it to the top. Indeed, I hope that under King Darius, you, we will see life improve for all dancers. I've already talked to the king about getting rid of those foul pleasure domes. He agreed with me. Young girls will no longer be forced to dance for old, creepy men. Now dancing will return to being the work of art that it has historically always been. Not the prostitution it evolved into under the leadership of lesser kings. So dancing has been part of your country for a long time then? The art of belly dancing is much more part of, a part of our culture than the stupid practice of necromancy ever was. And yet it is all people talk about, Styxia, the land of the living dead. I always despised the necros, but I bet if more people saw your dancing, they would have a much more positive view of Styxia. Well, at least now that you won't train young girls to do it anymore. We will still allow young girls to dance if they want to, but obviously not in these outfits. That's reassuring. My view of Styxia has improved, if only a little. Like the view you had of my backside earlier. 
Hey, listen here, I was not checking out. Okay, I totally was. Feel free to punish me. Are all free men from Anduron like you? No, I'm a special case. Whoa there, Jocka, calm down. Anyone down here? I have to go down there. How you doing, almost dead Ilanda, who looks worse than she did before? You're fine. You're fine. You're not. <laughs> you look like you're actually dying more every chapter, which is important, but holy crap. Ugh, let's just, uh... I know, I know. She's just gonna be a blob soon. Like, I'd almost prefer that she looked like, uh, what's his face? The skeleton. Hey, Jaka. Oh, Victoria, are you done with your preparations? Uh, yeah, sure. You seem a little distracted. Something on your mind? What do you think about the Stixie and Dancing Girls? They're pretty, right? Well, Darius did invite all the men the other night to watch them perform in the harem. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, though I didn't have time. I was busy planning for the war. Based on what I heard, it was quite the show, though. The boys were satisfied. And do you like them, the dancers, that is? Sure, they're pleasant enough to watch. The way they twist their bodies around? What man wouldn't? Well, in that case, I have a little surprise for you. Really, now. If you come down to the harem after midnight, I'll show you. Okay, calm the hell down. But Victoria, today's the day we leave. We're marching to, to war against Anderon. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Wait, 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 that's today? I thought we left tomorrow. You really need to learn to pay attention. Have you even packed your stuff? Oh no. Well, you better get started because we're leaving this place in a few hours. I'll get out of your hair so you can begin. I spent a whole month trying to learn how to belly dance and even bought this outfit. Yeah, Rip, sorry. Daka just isn't into the ladies. Or at least he's not, like... He's very clueless. Ah, this bloody heat is unbearable. Must be quite a shock for a Viking to travel this far south. The heat is a worthy adversary. I can't simply best it with my axe. However, I won't. It won't get the best of me. I will not give up. Wah ha! Do you visualize everything as an enemy to defeat? That's how a berserker lives his life. Everything is a battle to be fought. I do think the heat would be a little less unbearable if you removed the furs. That is a good point. Remove my bear skin? I would never. A berserker can never part with those. They're like a second skin to us. Don't even remove them when you bathe? Bathe? And suddenly I understand where the smell comes from in camp. Ugh. Probably better that he doesn't come to, like, you know, down here, because, like, Jesus. Now it's even worse. God, I re remember... Remember Garum 58 million years ago? With his 8 speed? Hoo-ha! Hey, hoo-ha! What are you doing, Garum? I am chanting a tribal war song on my people. Us, all centaurs do this before a great war. You ready to go to war with Andron then, I hope? I may have disgraced Bounty Bone's honor by not dying for his cause. I will attempt I will attempt to make up for my weakness by giving this my home. Garam, when Bounty Mon enlisted you to fight with us, I think he made a mistake. It's not one to feel sorry for centaurs. But I don't think he realized what he did. To use complicated words, two legs, explain it in a way I can understand. I think Bounty Mon thought you'd just tag along for a little while. I didn't think he meant to bind you to us for all eternity. Whether he intended to do it or not does not matter. Nah, yeah, well, I mean, we're declaring war and stuff. I have to follow the teachings of Angvik, the Eternal Hunter. Well, if that's how you feel, I won't insult you by trying to release you from us. I hope you're ready for a fight. Of course, I'm always ready. Don't mess with this centaur.
Hey Isha, why are you out here all by yourself? I never I never once thought I'd stand in the middle of a palace garden. Okay, you're almost there. As a kid, I used to stare at this palace and wonder who lived here. You regret coming back to Styxia? I will admit, it was quite painful seeing my homeland again. I didn't spend many years here, but the memories are still. You never told me much about your life as a slave. What's there to tell? I was beaten and abused daily by my master. I was a scrawny and weak child, powerless to do anything bad. My owner was twice my size and could lift me up with one arm. He felt like such a giant to me, I was terrified of him. I bet you'd be able to snap his neck like a twig now. After I joined Brandon's pirate crew, I trained every day to grow stronger. I never wanted to feel so weak again, so I worked out every muscle I had. No one will ever again be able to force me to do anything I don't want. I'd like to see anyone try. I know, I know. I tried to upload everything twice to throw you off, but it didn't work. So I had to delete a bunch of them. Probably. Whoa, 11-11. Alright, what's up? Christina, I'm glad to see you're preparing. That lance looks sharp. This is what we've all been working towards for so long. I want to make sure I'm ready. You do realize we might have to face House Rose again in battle. Yes, I realize that, but still. The last time we fought them, it was like it was a very dark day. Grandfather's betrayal, I'll never forget it. Lily tells me after all this time you still look up to him. Yes, to the man he used to be, not the one he became. Grandfather Samuel may have wronged us all in the end. However, that does not take away from his other deeds. I still get angry when I think about how he sold Baudimon out. Still, I suppose I cannot overlook his countless other deeds. He saved me and bowed countless times during the rebellion. I suppose none of us would be here if it wasn't for old Van Sam. If you had a chance to speak with him again, what would you, would you forgive him? I honestly don't know what I would do, not unless I saw him stand before me. I suppose we will all meet again in the great beyond. Maybe we'll see then. I think Samuel regrets what he did to you. He would apologize to you if he could. How can you know? My parents died in the siege of Holtmeyer, so Grandfather Samuel raged, raised me instead. I believe her father is the main character of uh, Rebellion Saga. He took care of me and Lily as if we were his own daughters. He trained us both. I cannot bring myself to think he was evil. He was just twisted by Mortimer's words. Mortimer is a vile fiend, but I do not blame him for saying it. We are all responsible for our own choices, Christina. I know that, Jaka. I did not mean to tear open old wounds. Make sure you're prepared for the choices you're about to make. Does that mean we get to use young Samuel as a paladin, too? I would assume so. What's up, Lilinette? Oh, Jaka, look what I got. What's that, a dress? A Stixian gown. Look at all these amazing embroideries. Isn't it just gorgeous? Wait, are, these, are those emeralds and diamonds? This dress must have cost a small fortune. Oh, it's fine. I told Darius you'd pay him back later. Wait, what? Don't worry, once you see me in this dress, it'll be so worth it. Oh, they were going to war. We need our funds for weapons and supplies. That's true, but morale is also equally important in battle, don't you think? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Imagine how all the male soldiers will feel when they see me in this gorgeous dress. Because that's what we need. Horny soldiers in a battle. They will all fight even more fiercely in battle, for nothing motivates a man like a maiden. Grumpy, Grampy always told me that in times of war, men will fight hard to protect beauty. Samuel said that, eh? Well, yes. I'd be upset about the dress, but I'm just glad to see you smiling again. I don't know about the dress, but I will fight to protect that smile. Oh, Jock, I didn't know you were trying to court me. You're handsome and all, but sadly you're just a commoner. I could never marry you. You're helpless. Alright, Ilanda, let's talk about what the hell is going on over here with your with you and that baby that half baby animation jesus christ it's just, it's just uncomfortable man oh yeah i know she's as i said i'd rather just look like ahmed at this point it'd be funnier instead of being a bummer Hey, Londa, I apologize for not being able to check up on you more often. Your condition, it's worsening, isn't it? Well, duh! It's okay, Jaka. I understand. You have much to worry about. As for me, I don't know... I know I don't have much longer to live. I've made peace with that. Please don't speak such words, Ilanda. Darius told me he's looking into a cure. He has his best magicians going over ancient tomes and scrolls as we speak. If they find anything, he will let us know. As if I would accept aid from the necromancers and their ilk. Ah, solid double racism. Whatever cure they might offer is surely worse than death. You don't know that, Ilanda. What about little Amon? Would you not do whatever you could to protect him? I know. Hey, okay? 
I will give at least one second of effort every 45 years uh, to try to actually voice act this to make everybody sound different. The rest of the time, they'll all just sound like me talking because everybody has the same voice in Fire Emblem games, confirmed. And they all just sound like me. I'm a Lightbringer. I do not fear death. <laughs> I would not sell my own soul to delay it. Well, no, yeah, he he has a different voice, um, but I haven't had a chance to voice act as him yet because he never talks, because he's a baby. All I ask is that you look after my son after I pass into the great beyond. Of course, Ilanda, you know I will. Then I have no fear of what's to come. I ask that you leave me now. I'm tired. I must grow older. I wish you luck in your war preparations. Hello. But I hope you're not angry with me. I won't give up on her, I promise. Christ. She should have, like, she should have something in the inventory that's just Amon. <laughs> Like, just have the baby be an equip that she has. Lowers all her stats by 15. Grants her the skill dying faster. <laughs> okay, what do we have left here? Okay, we've got like three people left. And we have to buy stuff from the Superstore. What up, Miriam? What are you eating here, Miriam? Local Stixian dish I found. They call it shish kebab. Mm. Best food I've ever had. Whoa, freeze confirmed. Favorite character, Miriam. Wait, are all those other spears yours? Yeah, this is my fifth one. By the divines, I couldn't even finish a single one of those. We fierce are known for our appetite, especially when it comes to meat. We can eat several pounds of it. You've ever had roasted wavern? Uh, wait, you eat waverns? Of course, it's one of Timed's biggest delicacies. Ooh, confirmed. Big news. But I've heard waverns are descended from the dragons who did not take human form. What about it? And the fierce are a mixture of humans and mannequins, right? Where are you going with this? So if you're eating waverns, you're practicing cannibalism of a sort. Excuse me for a moment. Blah! God damn it, you ruined it! Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should not. Yeah, he's just gonna say nonsense about the future or some crap. Out. <laughs> Zach, I was wondering about something important. We're at the we're at the relationship stage where I can call you Zach for some reason. Yes. You say you were summoned here by the Luminous Staff, correct? Does that mean we can do the same with the other regalia? Yes. Can you teach us how to use the other regalia to summon more ancestors? We could use them to fight Mornar. No. Why not? The ancestors are not meant to be tools of war. After I defeat Mortimer, who do you think I intend to place on the Silver Throne? Plan to finish what Baudimon started. Ilanda will rule until her son grows up. I intend to give Andron back to the Lightbringers and make them rule. Whoever sits on the throne is irrelevant. A century from now, Mortimer will be dust. You are not seeing the bigger picture. If restoring the Lightbringer dynasty is not on your list of priorities, then what is? After Ilanda is gone, her son will be the only Lightbringer left alive. Surely you want the last Lightbringer to rule Andron and further the family line? He is not the last, there is another. Another what? Another Lightbringer. Aside from Isla and her baby? Yes. How can we find her? You already have. Wait, I don't understand, Zach. Can you stop being so cryptic? Are you, like, there's not like there's 15 other white-haired random people that we've run into? The Lightbringers will endure. That is what matters. What do you mean? Explain yourself, man. Bah, the vines be damned. I despise fortune tellers. Yeah, I wonder who else has light affinity. Everybody? I'm just assuming everyone with light affinity is a light runner. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Almost. I only got 40 minute parallax so far. Yeah, none of them are here right now.
Lord of Lances, how's your day going, buddy? You here to buy some of my random crow wares? Didn't you steal these goods off the bodies of dead men? Seems morbid to be just selling them like that. What? Don't be silly, my guy. Dead men can't have property. It's totally okay to take every last thing they used to own. But you still shouldn't be selling those items. You should give them to the army for free. Counterpoint, I don't want them. But Ahmed, we're about to launch a war on Andorum. If these weapons can save our lives, why not give them away? Also, you're dead. What do you need money for? You're... Well, what? You fool, this is the best time to earn tons of gold. I'll become a billionaire in war profiteer by war profiteering. I just hope nobody kills me and takes my money before I resurrect. Then the great Meta's rise will become unstoppable. Okay, what are you going to do with all that gold? Uh, hire lots of sexy skeleton gals to shake their bones for me? You must be joking. I have needs. Alright, calm down, buddy. You're kind of crazy. I do respect it. Okay, what do we want? What do we want in this grand amount of things? I mean, brave weapons seem like the way to go. Rune sword is nice. Two. I don't think we need light brands or flame swords right now. Okay, I'll buy two of those to start, because Brave Swords are good. Wing Clipper is a sword that's good against fire. Flyers and kills, and is pretty good against, like, that. So I'm going to get one, too. Um, I don't really want a Stiletto. I don't care. Let's get a Brave Axe. Let's get another Brave Bow. Let's get another Flame Lance. Get a Thoron. He's just doing his stuff, you know? Can we get rid of anything we don't need for sure? Like, a Zambato is nice, but, it, like, I don't need it right now. And we have a lot of Holy Swords. Holy crap. I'm just gonna take one, and I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, I could. Yeah, what else can I get rid of over it? Yeah, I'll get rid of this three-use flame sword. Um, I'll sell this heavy spear as well. Let's just, like, start selling... Like, aggressively. So many devil axes. Well, it's because, like, this is the best shop in the game. Or it's one of the best ones. So I need to, like... You know, I need to... I may as well get rid of some stuff that doesn't matter that much. Look at all these... We have four rescue stabs? What the hell happened? <laughs> Christ. I'm gonna sell the Dire Thunder, because I can't use it. Whoops.
Okay, get rid of this shine and this divine. Ugh, I don't... Like, I'm gonna sell some of these Nosfer... Like, that Nosferatu. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to get rid of a lot of stuff later. Let's sell some of these one concoctions, because, like, they're pretty junk. Get rid of one of the torches. Let's sell one of the blue gems, because, like, I have a ton of gems. Let's get him down to level 15 so that he can level up some more. <laughs> well, yeah, because, I mean, I gotta talk to him, you know? Okay, I think that's enough clearing out for now. True, but I kind of want to save that. I have a feeling I'm gonna need money later. For some, for stuff. Alright, let's buy some cool shit. Okay, what do we need? Uh, we already bought some good stuff. Let's get another Thoron. Let's get... A Nosferatu. Let's get a Brave Bow. Let's get another Shining Bow. Let's get another Brave Lance. Let's get a Tomahawk. Actually, I don't need that. Because, uh... The, like, the fair move, like, I already have a tomahawk, so I don't need another one. That's the good thing about axes. Like, if I have axes, I'm fine. Uh, let's get another rune sword. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Like, I don't think there's... Whoops. Like, I don't think we have anything else. Like, we have a brave weapon here. So, like, and we have halberds, we have hammers, we have a sword reaver. Uh, we're pretty much stuck. Like, I just... We have a brave bow, we have killer weapons. I mean, I have four hammers. I don't think I need another one. Two thorons will help a ton. We have two full Nosferatus. good enough. Are we ready for war? Yes. I'm ready. You've already ended the reign of one king. Let's add one more notch to that belt of yours. Meanwhile, at Castle Flameguard, with the insane people...
our spies report that Stixie has finished their preparations. Their troops are marching out of the capital towards our border. It seems Jaka has made a friend with yet another foreign ruler. He's like an undying cockroach. The timing is highly inconvenient. I'm close to making a breakthrough. I doubt I'll be able to complete my work before they make it here. You look pale, Brianna. Is everything alright? It's nothing. I'm just worried. Don't be. We have brave men defending our walls. Isn't that right, Cyrus? They are ready and waiting. Yes, indeed, Lady Cassandra. But do you truly believe Jaka plans to attack our walls? The Infernal Pass is the only path they have that leads into Andor. Short of amassing a fleet of ships and sailing around the western end, it doesn't matter what Jaka wants. This is the only path he can pursue. Even if Jaka throws all his might at our walls, he will not breach them. Darius must have some kind of trick or secret weapon up his sleeve. Then you need to figure out what they're up to, General. Guarding the wall is your job. Easy to demand, but difficult to follow. I will do my best to uncover their plot. You look like you have something to say, John. John seems like such a weird name for a Fire Emblem character. It's like naming someone Ted. Lady Cassandra, we're going into battle. I have a request. Yes? This is regarding the morale of our troops. The men are starting to grow uneasy. There are rumors that some of the soldiers are contemplating deserting their posts. Are they such cowards that the very thought of an invasion scares them? We should have those men executed. Our soldiers will give their lives to defend us. They do not fear battle. However, there have been some troubling rumors going around the castle lately. Many are whispering about why our people are being sent down to the dungeons. May I suggest that Lord Alvaro's work be put on hold until we've defeated Jaka? Yeah, but like... But like, all you're gonna know is that he has my voice. And sometimes we'll talk like this. The king himself is requested to carry- No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> carry on with his research. I cannot stop now. Just give him, like, Goofy's voice for some reason. Just make it worse. <laughs> Gorsh. With this research, I cannot stop now. The work must continue, no matter what. Nephew, you claim to be developing some kind of weapon, yet refuse to elaborate. Kill. If this is something we'll be using in the battle itself, you should inform me now. It will, all, it will be revealed when the time is right, Uncle. The enemy cannot find out about it. It's like zombies. Every single man who was sent down to your dungeon has never seen or heard from again. The soldiers have begun to take notice. All you need to know is that every body has been put to good use. My men are not expendable pawns to be used in your twisted experiments. Cyrus, Cyrus, you forget your place. You do not raise your voice against us. Your brother is no longer here to speak in your defense, so remember your propriety. As if I could ever forget what you did to him. I know not of what you speak. I loved Sir Gareth until a tragic death did us part. Such an unexpected tragedy, indeed. Navarro's work continues, and that will be the end of this chat. Now, unless my ears deceive me, I think a visitor will arrive. You sent unpromoted lance units with Mortimer? What the hell? Your Majesty, thank you for making the journey here. Is this, is this your true body, or is it one of your clones? Why the hell would he come here by himself? I'm not a clone. Oh, why did you come here by yourself? I see, and did Galahad Steel Knights travel here with you? They will arrive later. Excellent, I'm an idiot. <laughs> with them by your, our side, Jaka's army could outnumber us ten to one. It does not matter how hard they fight, they will fall in a tide of steel. My king, would you, would you like us to brief you on the details of our plan so far? No, I'd like a moment alone with my wife. Of course, your highness. Clear the room, everyone. Let me just, just stay on the throne and be a boss. Welcome, Morty. I missed you. I missed you too, Bree. How have you been? Everybody's starting to do nicknames. Tired mostly. It's been difficult to sleep properly. My stomach is always in knots. Have you told your mother yet? <clears throat> if everything occurs as you've predicted, I won't need to. My mother will never know about our child. <gasps> A child! Are you truly okay with that? She is your mother, after all. She's a terrible woman, Morty. Vicious, cruel, and heartless. Yeah, I don't think I'd want her as a grandmother. You'd probably lose the kid to fucking what's his face in the basement. <clears throat> I love my mother, but Andron will be better off without her. With the way this story's setting up, this child could be the good one. Like, we don't know. I mean, Amon is just a fucking, like, silent, satanic monster right now, so. 
<clears throat> Compared to the sacrifices you've made, I have no reason to complain. We have to make a better world, no matter how high the cost. So, like, did he... Did, if his illusion bangs her, can she get pregnant? Or would the baby be an illusion? <laughs> I've supported you since the first moment you ever confided in me. Nobody understands you like I do. Once we finish the work, you'll, ne you'll be able to step out into the light. You won't have to hide the truth from the world any longer. The continent will hate us. Every great ruler is eventually hated. That does not make them less great. You're right. May the ancestors guide us into greatness. May the nine divines chart our path to the future. <laughs> Fortress of Flames, Chapter 26. <clears throat> Here we go. The Infernal Pass, the only path a Styxian army can use to breach Andron's border. House Flameguard has guarded the Southern Passage since Joseph's children founded it. Lightbringers toil to construct a wall barring the pass from east to west. For a thousand years it has res resisted countless invasions. No army has broken through. Despite this, Jaka and Darius seem hell-bent on breaching the pass. A surely suicidal move. But little do the Flame Guards know, the newly crowned Styxian king has a trick up his sleeve. <clears throat> Could be. I don't know. Lady Cassandra, we've sighted the Styxian army in the past. They will arrive before sundown. So Baudimon's sidekick has finally arrived at our doorstep alongside his mercenaries. All I see are a bunch of dead dogs walking. Hornheim and Temeid have joined them as well. This is a full-blown invasion. They've united Aurora against us. It isn't as if Fierus and the Vikings have joined the southern sparhead, spearhead. Instead, they've opted to attack our lands from three different directions. That gives us a defender's advantage, to say nothing of our mighty walls. I do not believe they will fall upon the fire-forged walls with reckless abandon. There must be a deeper scheme in mind. The great General Cyrus shivers in fear before an army of doomed men. Lady G Lord Gareth would weep if he could see how far his brother's fallen. <clears throat> Which, methinks, you twisted that knife a little too eagerly. Have you any confessions you wish to, t to make before Jaka arrives? The divines might not banish you to hell if you lay bare your soul. Babbling nonsense again? I have no idea what of what you speak, Cyrus. Quit yapping about the old days. Get your troops ready for war. We don't have to battle Jaka. We could pursue diplomacy. In an elongated war, Andoron will not defeat three nations. Especially when they act in a united capacity. Jaka is coming for our king's head. Do you think he'll accept us? Sorry? He's still angry we killed his lover. Banish the notion of treating with our enemies, Cyrus. It won't work. Seems we must fight, but what if Jocker breaches our walls? Sir Galahad will arrive soon with a platoon of his steel knights. Styxian's undead will crumble into bone mail beneath their shields. I'm assuming I have a time limit here before frickin' House Steel comes up behind me and destroys me. So I'm gonna have to move decently quick. Aren't they our internal, our infernal knights now, following the king's announcement? Huh, the Infernal Knights. That does sound delightful. Sadly, we ha we still have a while before we rule Andron. The timetable is unacceptable. I haven't made enough progress. I barely have three dozen Harbringers at my disposal. Can't you delay the invaders for another week or two, Mummy? Two months would give me enough time to break a thousand mines. No can do, Alvaro. He'll have to call together whatever you can. Jocko won't sit and wait politely at our walls while we amass an army. Every one of your super soldiers is worth a hundred of our finest. Perhaps, but I've yet to perfect the mind control mechanisms. They're a little more than sa they're a little more than savage beasts in the lack of such. The best I can only direct them towards clumps of living meat. God damn this guy! Savage beasts capable of shattering ironforged walls with their fists. If they tear apart some of our boys, then so be it. Jaka has to die. Avar, don't forget to set aside a few bodyguards for your sister. We need to make sure Jaka can't send an assassin to target her. Of course, mummy. Don't you worry. Nobody will lay, lay, lay a hand on little Bree. I fashioned a rudimentary sigil she can use to direct their wrath. Sister, do you remember how to use the sigil? Just point it at your enemies. It will even allow my minions to shield you from harm, so never lose it. Yeah, I do, though I hope I never have to use it. Bless your innocent heart, sister. Our soldiers made a brave sacrifice. They will live on as weapons for our house for the rest of eternity. We will honor them as heroes. What more could a peasant ask for? Don't worry, we've taken good care of their families, Brianna. They won't voice any complaints. Of that, I assure you. Yeah, I don't like what you, I don't like that. <laughs> All right, I'll keep a few as bodyguards then. 
Clearly they're compensating them with a lot of money and prestige so that they don't complain. And that's completely what she meant by that. Does that please you? I'm only looking out for mommy's little girl. Ugh. How did it go? Were you able to talk sense into Lady Cassandra? That ignorant witch? She wouldn't listen if I told her ice was cold. Ah, how I hate her. Our house used to be lauded by our contemporaries. Now our reputation is tanked thanks to the news of Alvaro's experiments. No walls can hide the sounds inside the warden's dungeon. Some men say they can hear banshees wailing at night. The divines will punish us for leaving those men to suffer. What can we do now, Father John? Our host's last hope was lost. The only person who could have challenged Alvaro's legitimacy. If the boy were still alive, he might be able to kill Alvaro. He isn't dead, Cyrus. I helped him and his sister flee Flame Guard. I put them in a safe place. I won't make them mop up our mess. Father John, you mean all this time he wasn't? But Cassandra told me he had perished in the dungeon. Jesse and Natalie, huh? She lied. As always, I spent weeks planning how to set them free. Then I executed my plan quietly. Why didn't you tell me sooner? The fewer who knew, the better. He's still alive, young Cyrus. But the torture was too much. He fell to the dust afterwards. Last I heard, he became a common pickpocket to Malthrax slums. So Jesse is actually Cyrus, I guess. And his sister? She retreated into herself. Hallucinations, delusions. A sad end to Gareth's twins. He loved them so much. We failed those children. Perhaps it's just that Jaka may Perhaps it is just that Jaka may soon take our lives. I'm probably gonna try to deploy Natalie in this. All soldiers, get ready, it's time for battle. Darius, it's about time you told everyone your plan. If we turn trudged all the way up here north for nothing. I couldn't risk Ander on spies obtaining this information. You'll be pleased when you hear what I have to say. I'm all ears. You may recall the name of Lich Queen Morganus, yes? We retrieved her amulet from the Tomb of Horror. I'm not that forgetful. Right, back in the day she brought Anderon to its knees. She had a plan in the works to breach your defenses. She sent ghouls to hollow out dozens of underground tunnels. Those tunnels are right here, beneath Flameguard's feet. How could House Flameguard overlook such a thing? The catacombs beneath the infernal walls are a maze. Mapping them out is not a simple task, many try. You also need necromantic magic to find the path. How did you learn of these tunnels? Through my father's diary, he investigated Morgana. He admired him. Gross. It's been hundreds of years since she dug those tunnels. They're unstable. We'll have to send a small squad in. You can, they can follow my markers to find the exits. They'll attack Flame Guard's interior and open the gates. Then we can rush in and slay Cassandra in one fell swoop. The wall can only be opened from those two by pulling two levers at once. This requires two teams to coordinate their efforts, so choose them wisely. So the rest of our troops will attack the wall head on? Correct, all we need to do is draw our gaze. That should give our infiltration team some time to activate the switches. If she's focused on the battle outside the wall, she might not detect them. At least not until it's too late. Yes, this will buy our teams time to get inside and pull the levers. Alright, I'll pick my best for the task. They'll need to be quick and efficient. If you want, I can order my troops to charge ahead and clear a path for your men. That might be useful. Do you want them to help? Yes. That sounds like a good plan. Order your men to charge alongside our forces. If that is your wish. What did I get? Would I get extra stuff if I said no? Hello, random thug. With all of the dust? What? This map was made for Jesse. There's tons of stuff on it. boss. A free Brave Axe over there. A blue gem over here. It's a lot of things to steal. Oh, 
Yeah, this is the FE6 battle preparation thing. And then we got her... Uh, the Hellblazer. Have ice and it does magic damage. So, you know, a solid 46 skill and 35 speed and Astra and crit plus 15 and a 78... Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, she's not actually that scary if you have the crit nullifying thing. Because, like, her power level is only 40. That's pretty good, but at the same time, like... You can theoretically be okay. Then we have her, like, she, look at her attack. 68? That's insane. Like, she is ridiculously powerful. She has an A with Mortimer. And she has 38 magic power and 20 defense. And she adds 50% of resin defense to damage dealt. Res and defense. So, that's 16 extra damage. So, you know, she's got 84. <laughs> 84 base with a 24% chance. Then you got him. A Harbringer. His ability deals one damage for every, more for every four taken. He has renewal and he has resilience. Yikes. Then you got Cyrus. He can't double or be doubled. Then we got this guy. Who, I'm assuming we might be able to recruit him. Uh, well, he has to talk to Jocko. Enemies within two tiles deal minus two damage. Oops. I can bring 16 people. I don't know why Estelle was picked. I don't know why Christina was picked. Aw, oh, Lilinette can go. So can Amelia. Well, actually, do I need Amelia for this? No. I don't think so. I don't know why I would. Garen can go. Either of them can talk to John. Oh, that's actually useful. Like, if I look at, like, deployments, um, it will tell me who who can talk to who before I deploy them. That's super useful. is that this move is kind of ridiculous because it gives, uh, like, it increases hit with high luck. So I'm actually going to give Barret every single luck boosting thing I have, which might not be that many, but, you know.
I guess that's all I got. I thought I had more. Whatever, it's fine. Now let's 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 give ourselves like some really good shit. Um, where is where is half man? No, you can't equip that. I'll take the tomahawk though. Yeah, so if you look at Barrett, Barrett's hit it Barrett's base hit is 176. <laughs> With a seven, with a seventy thing, so like, hundred and seventy six, and what is your avoid? Hundred and two, so like seventy four percent chance of hitting her when she has thirty five speed, <sighs> which is pretty great. Sean with his 22 speed. I'm so proud of him. Texas. Wait, no. He needs a land. aren't great right now.
need that. What's up? You alright, Freeze? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what? It's fine. Oh! Did not know that. Okay, never mind. Then Flux can piss off. Give me Spook. Okay, so certain guys I need to steal stuff from. Or try to. Like, the problem here is, like... They're gonna freaking like murder, murder my boy. do. I kind of do. Yeah. So what do I have to do? Do I have to, like, recruit John and then get John over there to talk to him? But it has to be Natalie who does it or something? I can't kill any of these generals. There's ways to do it. Um, I basically have to hold off. Um, so, is it John? So, do I have to beat the chapter without killing them? Is that what you're saying? Or do I just have to, like, talk to him during the chapter at some point? And it's fine. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, dude. How do I even do that? That's insane. I mean, these guys are gonna move. Okay. So, like, I need somebody over here who's not, who, with no weapon, is what the message here is. Somebody who won't die, um, with no weapons. Yeah, I have to force them out so that I can breach the thing.
Okay, this guy's gonna go for a tomahawk. gonna be the plan for that anyway. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I want him. Can I summon my Drake Guard? Sure. Actually, that might be bad. Your Majesty, I'm pleased you've decided to watch the slaughter. Will Galahad be arriving soon? Steel Knights won't be joining us today. What? You told me they were going to reinforce us. Have you not been paying attention? Vikings attack northern Andoron. They're raiding our coastal villages, while Darius marches on the south. At the same time, Timaeid has decided to attack our eastern border. Then why did you tell me Galahad was coming here if he wasn't? I'm telling you now, our nine plans change. Deal with it. If Jocker breaches our walls, he will march straight into Andron's heart. My king, you must give us enough men to defend the southern border. Weren't you bragging earlier about how infernal walls are impenetrable? Don't tell me those are mer were merely words meant to puff up your house's name. No, no, our walls are indeed unrelenting. Forgive me, I nearly let my emotions take over. We will continue without Galahad's steel knights. Have you regained your composure? Good. Now I need something from your son. Alvaro, can you provide me with the research you've done on the regalia? My documents are in the dungeons. I can fetch them if you'd like. Please do, and have a courier send a copy of the papers to Malthrak. For now I will observe the battle. I will move with haste, my brother-in-law. Oh, we get... This is his illusion. All it's doing is watching.
have to stay out of this guy's way. Does he have a... He has a spear. So if I'm lucky, he'll like... to restart. <laughs> it's just a minor thing I have to do. Um, because um, the doors are all locked, Natalie has to be on the inside team. Texas, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, man.
Like, where did all the forces go? Oh, I guess they're not even here. I know. That might kill me, but it's fine. Better now than later. So the Jaka Corps have come to crush Flamengard's wall. Sorry, I only pray my generals survive this attack. I care not about Cassandra, but my men don't deserve death. Divines, I beg you, spare my men. Might be a sinner, but they're gutless in Cassandra's scheme. If you do this, or guiltless. I shall renounce Flamengard's evil ways. Come on, man. Oh, man, your luck is like zero. He double critted me with a nine? What? The hell, man. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to redo this turn anyway. good for Natalie. She can get some good experience here. Assuming that that one sniper doesn't kill me, which he easily could. <laughs> Fucking Crixus, dude. God damn it. No wait, that yeah. I mean that's fine. I don't think he can double me. Yeah, I'll double him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh come on! Screw you, John! What are you doing? Okay. Please don't kill him. I need that brave ass. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> when the hour was dark and the need was great and all hope seemed lost. No, they just come back next chapter. Angelus, the beloved lo at long last, made his triumphant return to the party. His enemies wallowed in despair for they knew they had lost the battle. Do not despair a moment longer. Your friend Angelus has returned to you. 
Wait a minute, what is this I see? They have another performer? And a bloody dancer at that? Jaka, how could you do this to me? Woe is me, I've been replaced. Okay, he has a dirge tome. And he can't dance anymore? What the hell, man? What are you doing? Motherfucker! What is this? Yo, you guys gonna talk or something? Cause, like, I, I feel kinda bad about it. Hello, Jaga, I've returned. Angelus, where, where have you been all this time? I left to visit my family, do you not remember? Alright, forgive me, a lot's happened. I noticed a dancer has joined your group. You mean Lady Zari? Yeah, she joined us in Styxia. What's wrong, Angelus? I cannot believe you would do this to me. What? I'm not following along here, Angelus. Are you familiar with the Code of Performers? Can't say I am. In times of war, an army can only have one performer in their ranks. That was outlined in Penal Code 1.11173B of the Law of Light. Now that Miss Zari is with you, I can no longer play my ballads. What kind of stupid law is that? That sounds totally made up. All laws are made up. Right, but can't you both perform? There must be a good reason for the limit. It is a code to which dancers and bards must always adhere. I will cast magic, but so long as Zarya is here, I sing no more. Since when did you know how to cast magic? I'm a noble of House Darkholm. Naturally, I know the dark arts. Never thought to share this fact with us? Nope. I was busy singing. Divines give me strength. This freaking guy. I mean, he's got a lot of good everything else. But it's still ridiculous and hilarious. He got speed! Good boy. Very proud of you. a lot of good stats over here.
Okay, so we've we've broken everybody out there. start based on that alone. But I'd rather find that out now than later. time has come for you to take your leave. This feels so evil, Morty. I'm betraying my mother. She's the biggest obstacle to our mission. She must die. I don't have to like this to know you're right. Are you coming with me? Keep your voice low, Brianna. I'm staying here to watch. I need to ensure Cassandra falls to Jocka's fortress. Forces. As for you, take Alvaro, Alvaro's Harbringers and leave. We'll meet in Mothrak. Your illusions are becoming more corporeal by the day. They even fooled my family. I've been attuning my power to the shrine. This much is natural. My strength will grow until it plateaus. I love you, Morty. I'll leave before my mother wises up. Love you too. See you soon. Where's Brianna going? Something smells rotten. Little Morty, what are you plotting in secret? Alright. I'm almost done anyway. Yep, that's it. Alright, that's fine. Like, I'll, next time I'll restart. And we'll be all good. Anyway, take it easy, have a good day, talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!